something a little bit different for review here. This is the Subaru BRZ Street Custom from Tamiya in 124th. Uh, obviously a sports car. Uh, very nice model. I picked this one up um, from Froome Model Centre online at quite a good price. I wanted to try a car and this one was at the right price so I thought I'd try it. I quite like the look of it. There's numerous um, options. You've got red, white and uh, a nice blue there as well. But I quite like the idea of the black. So I might be giving that one a go. So looking through the instructions you get a background information guide. This must have been around the start of when uh, uh, Tamiya were doing these because it's uh, a bit of a photocopy and in later editions this is more of a glossy manual with quite a lot of detailed pictures but this one just gives you more or less a write-up as opposed to offering pictures as it's blank on the inside. Then the instructions are traditional Tamiya. We've got a fold-out layout and as you go through the build um, there's a, quite a lot of detail in this kit. You've got a full engine and um, a lot of detail on the underneath of the car. So as you can go through here, through here we've got brake discs and parts of the underneath of the engine and the steering columns there. And then going through, it's more of the underside of the chassis that's built up with more steering columns for the rear and parts of the front fenders. Then, just try it like that. Then it moves on to the inside. Then it moves on to the interior of the car. With a, then we've got bits of detail of the front and the back of the uh, car with the radiator going in and some fan belts. Then on to the interior with the two bucket seats and parts of the and parts of the interior. Then start to make up the inside of the car and interior parts with the dashboard coming together on all joining up to make a, a tub that slips into the chassis. Then there's parts here for the body parts that go into the front of the engine with a battery box etc. And then we start to make up parts of the front bumper. Moving on to clear parts at Moving on to the engine hood, and then we've got the body assembly with the body in one piece, adding the windows inside. There are masks that come with this, so you can apply those and I think you mask and paint from the inside. Then we run through a few more details on the inside of the body, attaching the windows, which is one piece here for the side windows and front window. Then we put the lights in before Moving on to the wheels, where there's a few decals here, and you've got to check some attachment points and take those off. Then the bonnet comes through with the window wipers, and then the body attaches to the chassis. The wheels go on, and parts of the body kit are applied there, with, uh, along with the exhausts. And then we're getting to the end of the build here with. wing mirrors and flexible tow bar and you also get a hood strut you also get a hood strut which you can pose the hood up or down and then finishing off parts of the engine and superstructure details with a spoiler going on and that completes the build marking options are the same so it's obviously you pick your base colour and then you've got decals to go on top if you pick the black uh, colour then you've got white decals to go over the top and if not then you can put black stripes across the top as well. And there are a few decals here for the number plate and a few other little bits. And then moving on to the decals, everything's brilliantly packaged in here as you would expect with Tamiya kits. So there's a few sheets of decals and masking. Uh, there's coloured decals for uh, parts for the dashboard and some of the carbon areas on the body. You also got instrument panel parts and dials and pedals in that part. There's the stripes for the bodywork, so you've got black or white depending on what colour you choose and what you think works. There are some metallic shiny 
stickers, stroke decals there to go for um, parts of the wing mirrors and the inside mirrors. And then you've got the masks for the windows which are pre-cut, you just take them off and apply them to the inside of the windows, spray them and paint them on the inside and then that gives you the shine on the outside. So that's a nice little set. There's also a, a metal bar there as well which I think is for the hood. That's the strut. So as we go through parts in the kit you get four tyres that are rubber. Um, they do have quite a, a, a seam line running around which is a little bit difficult to get off especially if you want to give it a bit of a clean look i.e. not having tyres worn down but there are ways to do that and, and try and burr it off. It is a little bit difficult. So you get four of those and you also get poly caps uh, to make sure everything moves before you want to uh, glue it down. So start off with the body which is one complete shell with a few parts of sprue here just for strengthening which you remove before continuing with construction. That's a very nice all in one piece. Then we've got the clear parts which is kind of the main event of this uh, kit. Obviously you need these to be very clear because the it's very much a focal point of the car once it's finished, so they want to be super clear. And they're all on one sprue and there's absolutely no problem with clarity there. Then we've got a part there in black plastic, which is parts for the engine and bodywork as well as uh, the as well as the back box for the exhaust. Then we've got some parts in chrome which are for the headlights and rear parts to the exhaust. I'm not sure whether I'd keep those with chrome or not because it, it is very shiny but um, and very reflective but can be a bit of an issue once you've got it out and sanded it down especially if there's any seam lines um, so you might want to respray those. It's up to the modeler. Then we've got the next part this is Spruce C. This has got lots of parts for the underside of the car again with um, the fan belts as well for the front end and making up parts of the engine. All very well moulded, very crisp, absolutely no problem with any of this as you'd expect. Then we've got parts that make up the interior and the dashboard and as I say it comes in one part and you glue the sides on so it makes a, a tub which is quite nice to get it into the uh, body. The dashboard there is all in one piece and you've got a uh, computer screen there for the modern parts above the radio and there are a um, there is a decal for the screen and you've also got parts to make up the front end of the interior as well and the bucket seats are very nice. There are no seat belts in this as a decal or included in the kit so you just want to bear that in mind, you might want to add some. Again, a very nice piece. It's quite clever Tamiya moulding all the body parts in um, white, uh, especially if you want to use a lighter colour because you're already starting off with quite a good base. These are the parts for the wheels and the spokes for alloys. Uh, very nice in chrome again. Um, so again, it's up to you when you come to this point whether you want to keep those like that or if you'd want to respray them with a metalliser paint. They're incredibly shiny, so if you can keep them clean, I'm sure they'll work quite well. Then we've got parts for the front bumper, and parts for the grille there, which is placed inside the bumper. So that's very nice, again in white plastic, and parts for the headlights, uh, for the fog lights. Then we're on to the last piece. Uh, this is again in white plastic. It is quite glossy so you just want to bear that in mind. It's quite a shiny surface so um, yeah, I would think primer would be essential in this before you start putting paintwork on. And getting a nice glossy surface is going to be the key to having a nice finish so obviously starting off with a good primer is a good way to get to that and then buffing your paint, buffing your paint surfaces as you go on and building up the layers. Um, the underside to the body or the chassis it's again very nice in one piece there and you've got parts of the wheel hubs, parts for where the wheels go, the fenders. 
Some parts for the front end and rear end and start building up the shapes which is quite nice. Uh, you've got the grill at the front with fan detail and a few more parts for the engine and interior as well as the brake discs with the calipers and parts for the the wing mirrors and a few more bits for the bodywork. So as you may expect from Tamiya, it's absolutely top quality, very superb, out of the box. Uh, few additions could be possibly, uh, I don't know if there's aftermarket tyres for this sort of thing to try and get rid of the seam that runs around the outside of the tyre. And also seat belts may be an addition you'd want to look at, but um, I'm probably just going to head for this one straight out of the box with uh, no real worries. And pick your colour scheme and try and get the make sure the clear parts are as clear as possible once they're going into the body and getting a very high shine on the paintwork is going to be key to getting a good result with this kit. So that's the Tamiya Subaru BRZ Street Custom 124 scale. Again highly recommended.